So the other day, I suddenly got the urge to do something creative. While walking through the apartment, I then saw this little piggy sitting in our living room bookshelf. A couple of minutes later, I had Blender open and I started creating my own 3D model inspired by the little figurine. What you see in this video is a sped up recording of the modeling process. Looking at the end result, which you will see at the end of this video, it is definitely not my best work so far, but also not my worst. And compared to real 3D artists, my stuff is laughable anyway. Still, I realized that I have personally come a long way and that my perspective on creativity and art has shifted quite a bit over the last years. Because for the longest time, I considered myself having no observable art skills, even though I always try to be creative in everything I do, especially in my software engineering profession. It was only with my recent interest in hobby-grade game development that I started to see things a bit differently. Because to my surprise, traditional coding and software engineering is only a small part in this field which is dominated by being creative and artistic. Long story short, over time I learned about different game development skills including low poly 3D modeling which has taught me a couple of things. Firstly, to appreciate the art of others and the process behind, especially if it does not look like much at first glance. Secondly, that someone like me with no prior artistic skills can learn and more importantly enjoy being creative in a purely artistic activity. And lastly, that even if you think that your latest creation sucks, just convince yourself that the flaws and imperfections are what gives it personality and then create a video essay about it. That's all I have and I thank you for listening.